good morning students i hope so you all are keeping well i welcome you all to your english class let us begin today's english class so today's topic is chapter number 11 thomas alva edison it's a poem written by vivian gold it's from page number 103 that's from your my canvas english course book so children all of you open your books to page number 103 and get ready for the class first of all children i would like to introduce you to who is thomas alva edison so it is very important for you to know who is thomas alva edison so children thomas alva edison was an american inventor and businessman he was born on february 11 in the year 1847 he developed many devices that greatly influenced life around the world including the phonograph the motion picture camera and the long lasting practical light practical electric light bulb he has been described as america's greatest inventor so he is well known as america's greatest inventor and it is only because of him that we can continue doing our work in an uninterruptible manner because of the availability and because of the great invention of the electric light that was made by him so let's proceed children so he was born in edison his birthplace was known as milan ohio so he was born in Milan Ohio in the place Ohio you can see his picture when he was at the age of 10 his father was Samuel Edison and his mother was Nancy Edison so let's proceed with today's chapter so children we will today do chapter number 11 that is Thomas Alva Edison and as i said it is a beautiful poem that has been written by vivian gold so let me start with the recitation of the poem thomas alva edison a most unusual boy never really bothered much with any childish toy his teacher taught his teacher thought he couldn't learn and send him home from school but tommy's mother knew for sure he wasn't any fool so from his childhood onwards he was a very rare he was a very uncommon boy who never liked to play with any childish toy so generally we know that children are very fond of playing with different types of toys when they are kids but he never showed any interest in playing with the toys his teacher thought he couldn't learn and he when he went to school his teacher they, they thought that he was a fool he didn't know how to read and write so his teachers always rebuked him always scolded him always made a fun of him and insulted him in front of his other classmates and he was thrown out of the school but tommy's mother so tommy is the nickname that was given to him by his mother so she knew that his she knew that her child wasn't a fool she had great faith in the abilities of her child so she didn't believe to what his teacher had told her about her son and it is good for you to know 
them that Thomas Alva Edison, he continued his education in the house. He was self-tutored by his own mother. Right, children? So, he didn't go to school. So, his education was carried on in the house by her, by his mother. So, let's check out the vocabulary. So, unusual means rare or uncommon. Number two, bothered means to think or worry about something. Number three, childish means immature or like a child. Number four, fool means a person who is not clever enough. So you can see the picture. He was never in, interested in playing with any childish toys. So from his childhood onwards, he was very busy experimenting with different types of things, whatever he got near him. You can see here how he was rebuked. How he was scolded in his school by his teachers because he was considered to be a fool who couldn't understand anything well. So he was thrown out of the school by his teachers and he was and he came back crying to his mother. But his mother had full faith on him and she knew that her son was not a fool. So here you can see how his mother always stayed with him as a great support and how she always tried to inspire and motivate him in moving forward in his life. So let's move to the next paragraph. He worked as a newsboy on a train. He learned to telegraph the way he concentrated made some people laugh. Thomas Alva Edison had inventions by the score. In his laboratory, he kept inventing more. So children, his childhood was not a smooth one. So he had to support his family financially. And that is why he had to work Start, he had started working at, an, at a very early age. So he had started working as a newsboy who used to deliver newspapers in, uh, on the train to the passengers. Then he learned how to telegraph. So telegraph is a method, is a device actually, which is used, uh, which was used in the olden times to send messages yeah, with the help of the electrical wires and the way he concentrated in doing his work. So he was uh, very, very attentive and he gave full attention to whatever work he did. And this made the people laugh at him. He kept on inventing by the score. So he kept on inventing in the sets of 20. Scores mean sets of 20. So he kept on inventing day by day in his laboratory. So laboratory is actually a room which is well equipped with different types of instruments that are needed for carrying out the scientific experiments. So he went inventing more. He kept on making new, new things with his own ingenious, indigenous ideas. So let's check out the vocabulary. Newsboy, a boy who gives newspaper. Telegraph is a method of sending messages using wires that carries electrical signals. Number three, concentrates means to pay full attention. Number four, inventions means new ideas or machines that have been invented. Score means a group or set of 20. Number six, laboratory, a room with equipments where scientific experiments are carried out. So I hope so you are clear. So here you can see some images where you can see how he used to run in on the platforms in order to deliver the papers. So he used to sell the newspapers. Next you can see how he had learned to telegraph, how to send messages through the electrical wires. Next you can see 
that he kept on spending his time in his laboratory when he had got his different types of instruments and he kept inventing more and more so you can understand that he was not a uh, common boy like we find at the age, at his age who is busy playing here and there with their with his uh, friends but he was very much engrossed with his uh, different types of inventive ideas and he kept on inventing more and more next you can turn to the next page that is 104 and we will continue with the poem the phonograph electric light with fuses and sockets too a super storage battery and movies were a few so here we are introduced to the different types of inventions that he had made and he is well known for so he had invented the phonograph the electrical lights with fuses and sockets he had invented a super storage battery and movies were a few so these are the names of the few inventions that he had done if not for mr edison how dull our lives would be we might not have the radio the x-ray or tv so it is only because of the inventions that were made by Mr. Edison that we can enjoy our life today to the fullest. So it is because of the radio that radio and television that he had invented or he had started the inventions. So because of that we get entertained and it is because of the x-ray that he had invented that uh, helps the medical field a lot in examining the uh, different types of injuries that uh, we might incur in the future so here are the vocabularies let's check out the vocabulary number one phonograph means an equipment for our playing records to listen to music number two fuses a safety device that melts the strips when electricity flow exceeds the safety level so it uh, has got the strings strips or the strings which melts when the electricity flow increases and thereby it saves us from different types of accidents number three sockets the device where the plugs gets connected so where you put the plug that is known as the socket storage means to keep something in reserve for future use Number five, dull means stupid or someone who understands very slow. Radio means a device that carries sound messages. And number se uh, seven, that is X-ray, means an instrument used to give digital images of the inner components of the body, which is very helpful in the medical science for examining the, uh, the different types of fractures that are... Uh, the injuries that someone might get during the accidents so here you can see the picture or the image of phonograph you can see the electric bulb or the light which he had invented you can see the picture of the socket where you plug in and you can see the fuse where uh, the uh, strip of uh, the copper wire is set to melt and uh, when the electricity uh, increase uh, the level of the electricity increases and it becomes dangerous for us and thereby it saves us from accidents so here you can see the storage uh, battery you can see the first uh, movie or uh, how he had invented the camera of moving pictures the electric bulb the phonograph so these are the images and uh, then you can see the x-ray and you can see the image of the radio so these are the beautiful inventions that were made by uh, thomas alva edison so the famous uh, quotation of thomas alva edison with which i would like to end today's class is there is no substitute for hard work so he had failed hundred times where, uh, for, while he was trying to invent the electric bulb. So uh, he had 
created a history by inventing the electric bulb but he had to face a uh, hundred times failure before he could uh, actually was uh, before he was successful in making the electric bulb and we owe to him for inventing the electric bulb because it has played it plays a vital role in our lives in lightening our lives in day, in our day to day life so always remember children there is no shortcut for getting success so as it is also stated by great thomas alva edison that there is no substitute for hard work so if you want to achieve something in your lives you have to work very hard so i hope so you have understood the poem well so thank you children and that much will be done for today's english class so please go through the poem and recite it and stay home stay safe thank you